Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Leftists are walking, talking contradictions. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Kevin Jackson's who you're listening to. KJRadio.com. Leftists don't care about the truth. It doesn't matter what the, the is whatever they're told to to you know make the end game. That's what they do. Once they get their marching orders, you. It, I don't even know how to tell you to get them out of the stupor. You have to pretty much beat them down. Really. Verbally or physically. You have to just bap, slap them in there like, what'd you slap me for? Because you said something stupid. You know, and then you got to remind them, well, here's what you said. And they're like, oh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You can't do it in groups. Don't try to convert leftists in groups. It does not work. They're, it's like the buzzing of the bees. They get hypnotized. And you, no matter what you say, it does not penetrate that nonsense. It must be either with a bunch of other conservatives or alone. Now, you as a conservative, they cannot get you to do anything that you don't want to do. They could be a group of them. You will stand firm. It could be by yourself. One on one with them won't matter. You know your convictions. You know who you are. Leftists do not know who they are. It's the truth. I know it makes them mad. I don't really care. You know that. Good example. Leftists say cops are evil and racist pigs. But then they say cops should be the only ones to carry guns. And he goes, oh, so you want evil racist pigs to carry guns, but <laughs> you don't want anybody else to. Who's going to control the evil racist pigs? Oh, well, we hadn't gotten to that. Then you wonder why we're making Bleeding Blue? BleedingBlueMovie.com. Go there. Tell a friend. September 7th, opening day. I was looking at movies that are opening right now, and um, Bleeding Blue is going to open in September, or right after Denzel does the uh, Equalizer 2, a few other movies, but you're going to love this film. It's going to be in the top five each weekend that it's out. Because I know you guys are going to go. You're going to see this film and you're going to tell your friends you got to go. This isn't one of these long, drawn out, oh, two and a half, three hour documentaries. Oh, my God. And you're all sleepy. You will be riveted. You'll be crying. You'll be getting a few chuckles. But mostly you'll be crying and you'll be riveted. And you'll leave there with a real appreciation of why you're a conservative. Cops are evil, racist pigs. But then they say cops should be the only ones to carry guns. That's what I cannot stand about leftism. So tell me where the logic is in that. Oh, you know, that KKK is a bunch of evil racist people, but they should be the only ones carrying guns. If that was the case, what it, what it would left, the left would be telling you is we per, give permission for cops to shoot blacks, to, to intimidate black people. They'll be the only ones with guns. Legal guns. Oh, people, black folks, we will have our guns. No question about it. But legal guns, this will be the only way you could go. Easy for them to keep up with it. Easy for leftists to see. They don't have to panic. Let me tell you, easy to sell the gun, the gun lobby against the gun control freaks and nuts. Easy sell. They want to teach you how? Number one, if a woman weighs 110 pounds, she better have a gun if a man decides he wants to do something physically to her. She better have a gun or she better be one heck of a martial artist or be able to swing a bat because she's going down. She pulls, gets in her purse. She pulls out her little 32, her nine millimeter, whatever her 40. And she says, back away, sir. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are. You know how big and bad that little bullet is. It is badder than the baddest you can be. And you'll back away. And all that matters is her tone. Back away. And if the firearm is shaking and her hand is shaking, then yeah, maybe somebody says, ah, she ain't going to shoot me. But if you stand steady with that piece, and you're like, you back away or I will blow you away, son. They're going to back away. Every time, unless they're drugging, you know, some drug-induced thing, like they're high on crystal meth or, or heroin or something, and just become zombies. Other than that, pfft, you got my attention. I'm out of here. And you won't be bothered again. That person will remember you as a person not to be trifled with. This is what we're, this is, it's, it's practically misogynist. It's a patriarchal society that doesn't want women to have a firearm. 
That is the great equalizer. It is the great equalizer between wimps and real men. See, a real man, man, his gun, his weapon is there. If he, I mean, if he's concealed and carry, he might have a weapon, but he does He looks at it as that's a, a last resort. He's not worried about what's going to happen. Anyway, lots going on with this lot. Th- this is a topic that needs a really good discussion. So we talked about it from a female male perspective. What about from a black white perspective? Guns kept the slaves free. Without guns, black folks, you're still working for the white man, working for a Democrat. It wouldn't have changed. In fact, it would have grown. Slavery would have grown. I think Lincoln knew that. So not allowing guns is not only bad, you know, means you're a misogynist. It means you're a racist. It means you don't want black people to protect themselves. You want the white world where you can keep black people down. Oh, I know you talk a good game. Kevin, we're the ones talking about white. What is it? White supremacy, black oppression. Really? You're not fooling me. Have I mentioned to you? I'm a little sharper than you may think. Look, it, it is about all that. If you don't want people to have guns in the most high crime areas, which are the black community, people getting shot up more than in any other community, not even per capita, in general, and you don't want to let black folks have guns, you are a hardcore racist. That's what you are. And I could go on with other ethnic groups. We are a hunter-gatherer society, and if the cake hits the fan, I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to be setting little rodent traps (laughs) trying to eat. You want to be able to shoot your meal, bring it back, be a good steward of the land, good conservationist, but eat that food and you know if you're in a cold weather area freeze some i don't i don't care what you do with it but you definitely need your gun you may just want to target shoot who knows anyway we got a ton to talk about today new charges from robert Mueller. not so new but you know we'll talk about those and a school decides it's going to use armed guards for its protection And I'm going to tell you, that story's huge. It's bigger than most people will even believe it to be. So when I get back, we're going to talk about that and a host of other things I hope you're enjoying or will enjoy. Keep it here, folks. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 